Thursday was the new um, Baymax customizable figure, which I didn't think they were gonna, I, I didn't think I was gonna be able to sell it because it's for the new Happy Fair Baymax event, which was postponed. And I thought that the, the customizable figure was only gonna be available inside the park. I didn't realize that uh, you could actually, they were gonna be selling it outside of the park. So I was really surprised about that, which is pretty cool. I also didn't realize that it was available at Bon Voyage, so um, I was able to pick it up there, even though I bought some on the app as well. And so we can almost kind of like build him like this, I guess kind of, sort of, yeah. Cool, yeah, so the way it works is you get a, you get a Baymax figure, like this dude, the main body, B00, <laughs> Baymax -u. So you get, you get the Baymax figure. He's like regular old Baymax. Just chilling, chilling like a, not a villain. <laughs> chilling like not a villain. <laughs> and then you get all of these armor pieces that you can put on to Baymax. There's six armor pieces and they're all individually numbered, which makes it easy for me to see, do I have all of them? <laughs> I'm like, yes, I do, I count the numbers. So, um, the first thing that you can customize is his head. So he's got the hero armor, I guess is what they're calling it. And so what I notice is that they have like four different colors or five, maybe five different colors. I can't remember. And they're all kind of based on the different characters in the movie. Um, I, I don't remember the, this character's name. This is the woman character. <laughs> I don't know her name. So you guys probably know her name. But um, I guess all the colors are based off those characters. Um, so this is this person who bought this, they wanted all pink and yellow. So they didn't get a good variety. It's kind of bummed. But yeah, so you can put the Baymax head on him. And then he also has some shoulder pads. Some right shoulder, left shoulder. You got some shoulder pads, you know? <laughs> Gotta get those. It's like you're going to a job interview got to get your suit with the shoulder pads um he's also got wings he's gotta have wings he's gonna fly look at those wings man you got wings you got some legs you got some calf or some uh hamstring no what are those hamstrings no thighs <laughs> got some thigh thigh armor you got some torso. You got a torso. There you go. And then the last thing you have are the arms. Arms. Right arm and left arm. In case you weren't aware that there's two arms. Yeah, and so basically what you do is you open up all of these armor pieces and you put them all on Baymax. And then you create a, a uh, customizable... Uh, Baymax Hero, your Baymax Hero. This is my Baymax Hero. And they also sell Ooh. this. What? Oh, what? I got another order. Please be something that I can actually fulfill. I think this is a soap. Yep, it's a soap. It's from somebody who already got it. <laughs> so, uh, that's easy. Um, yeah, they also sell this shoulder bag that has it's basically like a bag to carry around your figure so the bag is shaped in a way that you can put the the, the figure that you create you can like it has a a foam mold where you put the baymax in the mold therefore you can show him or you can uh, display him the baymax that you create around the park so um it's one of those things where I didn't think anyone would be interested, but um, yeah, some people actually bought them. So I thought that's kind of cool. Um, yeah. So I wish I could actually like take this apart and open these up and, and kind of um, build the Baymax, but uh, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to ruin this person's figure. So unfortunately I won't be able to Voltron him and like, you know, put his armor on, but um, 
Yeah, it looks like he can move his legs. Uh, and I guess you can move his, yeah, you can move his arms as well. That's kind of cool. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool stuff, though. And like I said, because you can, the way that I do it on my shop, I let people customize whatever armor pieces they want. So this person decided to get all of the same color, which makes it easy for me. It's actually <laughs> matches my hoodie. Uh, it makes it easy for me to, to pick it up. But uh, you can also choose whatever colors you want. Like, if I were doing it, I'd, I'd choose, like, all different colors. <laughs> you know, like, a blue head, pink wings, you know, green shoulder pads. So, yeah, so that is cool. Uh, very unique. Uh, very unique item for the Tokyo Disney Resort. I think it's, like, the first time they've done something of this nature. I know this is fairly common in the U.S. parks with, like, the droids like the lightsabers you can like build your own lightsabers and droids and whatnot but uh for disney resort here in japan it's not often you see this kind of style of, of merch build your own you know um so i thought that was interesting and i'm glad that i was able to provide it to the folks who want it so that's cool that is that. Uh, I also got... I might have shown this off before. I don't remember. But I have a, a pirate wristband from Pirate Summer of last year, which has Pirate Mickey on it. Happy Pirate Mickey. And it's a wristband. However, um, Manai's friend, Yuka-chan, she actually... Um, use this to make a bow for her bag, I think. She, she like, repurposed this in a creative way. So that's the ingenuity of Japanese Disney fans is that they often will take things that were meant for one thing and then repurpose them or remake them for something else, <laughs> which is what I love seeing. That's why I love Japanese Disney fans so much. Cool, so that's that stuff. What else do I got? I got some snacks that I, for the snacks that I want for my sale. Oh no, I got a bent postcard. Oh no, bent postcard. Um, what can you do? Um, is there anything that you guys have not seen in this bag? Oh, these, you haven't seen these. Uh, and what is the other one? And where is it? Yeah, okay. So here's a few other things. So I got a hand mirror. This is for Rapunzel. She has really long hair. She lives in a tower. How do they get food? Do they like bring food to her? Does she hunt food? Because she's not allowed to leave the tower. It is a, it's a very large <laughs> hand mirror, actually. It's kind of surprising how, how big it is. Um, so, Rapunzel, what does it say on there? Flower, gleam, and glow. Flower? No, flower, gleam, and glow. Let your powers sh shine. Let your powers shine. What? Flower, gleam, and glow. Let your powers shine. What? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. And then you open it up. Inception! <laughs> There's like two mirrors though. Inception. So that's pretty cool. You get a Rapunzel hand mirror. Uh, so that's going to one of my subscribers. And I've also been kind of lacking in Alice merch. So I picked up uh, these um alice k 
case cases uh cream cream case set cream case put some cream in there it's got alice and the flowers that sing singing flowers because that makes sense yeah so pick this up for some alice fans because i've been kind of lacking in alice merch um it seems like you know sometimes there's like a decent amount of alice merch and then other times there's not so much and so you know sometimes it's difficult to consistently have merch for some characters and alice is one of those ones i also picked up this it is a clip pin so it's like dual purpose because if you look on the back it's actually a clip so you can use it as like a chip chip clip or something but it's also like a pin so you can use it as a pin so it's kind of like what do, you, what, what do you want to do with it i don't know do what you want with it it's your choice alice it has her name on it so you can remember what, what her character's name is you need to do that for that baymax character that i don't know <laughs> what what is her name i don't know what it is man the white rabbit is the best alice character that's incorrect. Sorry, Dubs. You you said something that is factually incorrect. The best Alice character is Cheshire Neko. That is the best Alice character. Sorry. <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> Absolutely wrong. I do like the White Rabbit, though. I wouldn't say he's my favorite, though. Well, that's obviously Cheshire Cat. I like the caterpillar as well. I think the caterpillar may be my second favorite character. <laughs> then maybe the white rabbit, maybe, maybe. What about the broom dog? Do you like the broom dog? <laughs> they made a plush of the broom dog a couple of years ago. That was kind of fun. Um, so that's that stuff. What else do I got? Um, oh yeah. And then I got these guys. I posted these on my Instagram. Okay. One more. Where's the other one? Is this one? No, that's not that one. No. No. Got one more. Got to find it. Which one? Where is it? Where is the last one? Where is the what? Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, so I got these um snip snips they're like little snip snips this one's toy story it's got woody and buzz and the aerials there's there's snip snips you can snip snip with them and um so basically what it is is like a little it looks like a little pen but you you take it out and it snip snips Snippy snip snip. <laughs> so cool. I love it. So practical. There's so many times when I wish I had snip snips and I don't have them and I cry for a very long time. And then people are like, why are you crying? And I'm like, I don't have snip snips. And they're like, why don't you have those mini snip snips? And I'm like, that's a good question. And then we both lol. We're like lol, and then we go, we move on. So I also have a nightmare one. I only have like a few of these. They are very rare. I like the nightmare one the best, just because of the colors. I like the I like the uh, the black and pink and blue. My favorite colors. The Lion King one. This is my least favorite one. I don't like the Lion King. <laughs> I don't like the Lion King. I don't like yellow. I don't like the art. I don't like zebra. Oh, zebras are okay. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't want it. I like this one, though. The uh, Toy Story Aliens, because it's blue, my favorite color. Blue. What are they saying? Toys and happy. Toys and happiness. Okay. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I like that one. And then there's this poo one. Whoa. Sorry. I smacked my mic. Uh, there is the poo one. Yum. 
Yum. <laughs> Yum. What does it say? Rab rabbit's house? Rabbit's ha his house is spelled wrong. Learn a spell, Pooh. Dude, Pooh needs to learn a spell, man. Get a dictionary. Get a spell check, dude. There's a Pooh one. So those are the ones that I was able to find. So, yeah, picked those up yesterday. Ran that was a rando find. <laughs> was not expecting to find those. Those are the rando finds are like some of my favorite finds where I just um I just go into a store and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I'm like, okay, I guess I'll get it. So another rando find is the a Alien pen case. Alien with like like Oh, I guess those are targets, right? Targets? And spaceships? Alien! So yeah, so I also picked that up. And it comes with foam! It comes with your- it comes with foam, guys! You get your own foam! In case you were like, man, I really want some foam. Well, you know what? I'll hook you up! You want foam? I got you covered! I got foam. You guys want foam? I got foam. Hells yeah. Cool. Well, that's it for the merch. 